G'day everyone and welcome back to another episode of the Aussie Investing Machine. Thank you so much for joining me. Hope you've all been keeping well during the Sydney and Melbourne lockdowns. It certainly has been going for some time now. Today, I wanted to talk about the company Flight Center. I think this company is certainly one to watch this year. Flight Center has survived throughout the pandemic despite the major reduction in air travel. To do this, the company has undergone major cost cutting and prepared itself for reopening of international travel. It looks like there might be some good reasons Flight Center will have a strong recovery going into 2022. These reasons include a resumption of international travel, elimination of lockdowns in Australia, improved certainty in the community and simple supply and demand. There's going to be a huge increase in demand for air travel both locally and internationally when restrictions ease. Over the past two years in the pandemic we've seen some major price increases. This has certainly been felt in both domestic accommodation and airfares. Just the other day I was looking up tickets from Melbourne to Tasmania and they were running for more than $300. This is incredible considering pre pandemic, you could have one of these tickets for less than $100. So what am I getting at here? Well, in my opinion, when the borders reopen, I think there's going to be a huge demand for international travel, people wanting to go on holiday for business and to see family and friends. I think this price action will be incredibly positive for Flight Center. Just recently, Flight Center has also released their full year 2021 results. In their results presentation, there were some promising signs mentioned and a lot of it was in line with the narrative I've just described. One particularly impressive chart is the transatlantic flight numbers. Just take a look at that vertical increase in the amount of flights between the UK and the US. It almost looks like we're dealing with Bitcoin here. The presentation also highlights that during the pandemic, Flight Center has been upgrading their online system. This will be important to cope with the large amount of demand expected in 2022. The company importantly has also demonstrated they have ample liquidity to continue lasting for months and perhaps even years to come. Additionally, we've also seen them reduce their net debt by half compared to this time last year when they were in the midst of the pandemic. These are some positive signs from the balance sheet of Flight Center and something that should be encouraging to investors. Another item worth mentioning is their business offerings. This is a different service from their retail arm in which they aim at major international businesses. They've been able to pick up some major clients through this disruptive period including Procter and Gamble, KPMG and Spotify. This is in addition to keeping 98% of their current customers on board. These factors combined have led to Credit Suisse putting a $19 price target on the Flight Center share price. In summary, I think Flight Center might be in for a really big 2022. This is provided we see international borders open in December as planned. We know Qantas is gearing up for that event. Let's hope it does happen. There's definitely a cohort of people coming out of high school, coming out of university who have not experienced international travel yet. And I'm sure they're going to be very keen to get on the next airplane overseas. It seems that Flight Center may be able to capitalize on this opportunity in a very big way in the next year. It's for this reason that they're number one on my watch list at the moment. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you've got any thoughts and opinions, please leave a comment below. Don't forget also to like and subscribe. I really appreciate your support. Until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.